Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Hellblade, Sonya's Sacrifice. I am your host, Darko Sinner here, and I'm bringing you back with another episode of this phenomenal game, which I have solely fallen in love with. Now, in the previous episode, we were uh, still in the pursuit of the uh, Fire God, and uh, I was having a little bit of a difficulty trying to find the uh, the last little totem. We were able to successfully find the first two. But if you look here, you can see that this is actually where the um, the last one was. So that is where that is. And so now, without further ado, we will go ahead and pursue this further. Now... Just been previous been gameplays. This has become something of a a love of mine. I've really enjoyed both of the, uh, the PTSD and all the psychological aspects of this game, and um, so on and so forth. Um, also, I've really enjoyed just the the atmosphere and the Nordic and uh, mythology and mythos. It's just been a thrill ride. So we'll just have to see what happens here. So I think we just got to get past this little door here. As soon as I can figure out how to open things. I think we're good. Just open. Um, okay. I guess, well, I guess we don't open. There we go. <laughs> Wanted to be fickle with me the first thing. Okay. Well, thanks for the words of encouragement there, my dude. Alright, there we go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh God, I'm really on fire. We really ran through the fire. Ooh. Oh my God. I hope she's not dying. I've really enjoyed her so far. Okay, you can't die yet. What, really? I'm not dead. Don't tell me I'm dead. Am I dead? She dead? She can't be dead. Eyes gonna open up. It's gonna do a jump scare. Do my flitcher. No. 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 We're good. We all good? I hope. Think. She seems to be okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Senua. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. That must be our beloved. This is my battle. Dillion, I do believe. I have to face it alone. Away from you. Where will you go? I don't know. I don't know either. You know that. Just, just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I don't know. It seems like she can promise that type of thing, my dude. I'll come back to you. I promise. Uh oh. She did it. She said the promise word. Come on. Way to traverse. All right, guys, here we go. A battle against Sort. <laughs> 
Holy crap. It's the first time I've ever heard her get pissed. Oh shit. Okay, he's gonna be MLG. Oh shit, boss fight. Okay. I gotta get good with the, the fighting and the mechanics. He has long strikes. Can they be blocked? Okay, so you can, you can get up from that. Damn you. That was not my brightest move. Okay, should not have went in for a strike there. Damn it, that's gonna be more rot. Ooh, okay. OPS move. What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing, dude. Okay, you got it. Nice dodge there. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Good scrub. Okay. Okay, you almost got this rap. Almost. Focus. Okay, you got this. Just focus on the each individual strike. Come on, you can keep on. Keep on with the focus. Almost. God, how? Alright, there we go. Is there something I'm looking for here? Or is it just like continuous? Nailed it! All right, <laughs> MLG fucking killed his punk ass. The blood of the fire god has been spilt. Victory is mine. After dying one time, but you know, shit happens. Hooray! That's one part of the door. Now we got to move on to the god of illusions and spill his bun. A greater battle takes its place. But so it goes. Until we fall. And in the end, we all fall. Even the gods have their time. Yet we still go on. And I will go to hell to keep I it. die free. Oh, and you will carry my stories with you. I have fulfilled my quest. Yes, you have. When the darkness comes, I vow to guide you in this life and the next to fulfill yours. Nice. And I will 
Be ready. Keep your face harder in the eye as I have to find your answers. Your quest. The truth. Well, farewell to that man. It's been nice knowing you. All right. Well, that was a very successful run. Uh, the rot is still carrying on, even though I died maliciously during that intense boss fight. That was very intense. Very well done, too. I liked... to gain Someone peace. A deep connection formed between the Northmen and the darkness. His tales have held the truth. That that was the source of it. She learned everything she could from him. Until she too could see what he saw. And the good man we lost. Interesting fellow. Nonetheless, we have fulfilled part one of the quest so far. We'll move on to part two. I do believe it is now the God of Illusions who will be our next uh, combatant. We have more of these fiery sacrifices to get through. I'm pretty sure we're done with these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're done with these. I don't think we're... We need to progress further. We've already gotten what we need out of it. So no more further for that detail. Silly voices. Tricks are for kids. Alright, I think, I just think I just took the wrong path. But any Houston, sad to see that one guy go. His life story will carry on, and we will carry his stories further along with him. Weird to see all the images of the dead just floating around. These unfortunate souls in the bowels of hell. And it also dawned on me too, while, while I was thinking about the, the playthroughs of this, this is actually a reverse of a... Uh, it's a serious question. When the illusion of self is shattered, you simply cease to be. Though it may not seem that way to others, you know when it is true. You can feel it. A stranger your own body an imposter and an imposter the same ever again well then it might be true someone has died but she will do so again Well, as I was saying uh, this game actually reminds me of a reverse story of um, Dante's Inferno uh, a pre an old PS3 game I used to play where um, a man lost his wife to the devil and he goes through the bowels of hell to be able to do it. But this one seems a lot more in-depth and a lot more psychological and that's what I can really honestly appreciate about it above uh, Dante's Inferno. Even though Dante's Inferno was an amazing game. But I really like the, the differences that I can kind of detest from both of it. But it's kind of a reverse story. Going through hell to get your lover back. And, Stuff like that. The things that you would do, the things that you would go through. It's interesting. Holy shit! Okay, you a newbie. Okay, you scared the fuck out of me, man. <laughs> You're gonna need to use a lot more blocking power. Yeah! 
Ooh, you got shield. You little bastard. They're not winning. Damn it. Get up, get up, get up, get up. I'm not losing this fight. Got him. Got him. One test. The fights in this game are really intense, though. But there's another one of these things. Let's see that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a car. Valraven, ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Oh my. Well, this is uh, charming. The path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Interesting. All right, onwards with the uh, the god of illusion, my friends. I look forward to seeing what horrors await me. <sighs> Damn it, how they know the grass was going to be my one weakness. No! Totally joking. Let's see what awaits us up here. Is that another one of those things? Emir was a frost giant being of darkness and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him hmm. of his daughters and granddaughters some were monstrous but others fair but there was another who came from the ice Buri in shape he was like a man big and powerful his son Bor took a fair giant to be his wife and they had three sons Odin was the eldest and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods, the Old Father. Interesting. Hmm. I'm loving all the education of North mythology. I've always been fascinated with Greek um, and Norse mythologies, as well as uh, Egyptian as well. I'm also a big fan of Egyptian. I really wish uh, a game would actually delve into the ideas of Egyptian mythology, things like that. Uh, all of it is very interesting, well worth the, someone's time. But anyways, we'll have to see through many illusions through the tests of this game. And hello, that looks like someone... Okay, here we go. Illusion hides the path to Valraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Okay, so don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. It's a door. It's merely a bridge. Right now, what? A portal. So 
when you pass. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? That's interesting. So when you pass through the portal, everything becomes far more clearly to you now. Huh. Nice simple puzzle. One we can actually kind of get through from here. We'll have to proceed further. What is up this way? Hmm. Nothing I don't see in particular. Head up this way a little bit. And we'll head up this ladder. We'll go from there. So far, really well done. All the combat is really well meshed. I'm in danger, how? This is the price she pays for seeing things differently. Because once you gaze into the relentless darkness, all that lurks within it can see you too. Hmm. Well then. That's not unsettling whatsoever. So far we'll have to progress through, make sure... I guess this door opens. Oh god. Come at me, boy. Yeah. Good. It's nearly over. Finish. All right. Learning better combat abilities. Gotta learn to use your time stop as frequently as possible. And be able to know when to parry, when to. Okay. Got three of you baddies here. And also, it's gotta know when to know when your voices are talking to you during combat situations. Needs to be a better lock-on mechanism for a game. Got him. End it. No, this is nearly the end. Got it. Nailed all that. She will find what she's looking for. Indeed. We will find exactly what we're looking for. Let's progress. Another illusion. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty certain. It's going to be another illusion. So how would this fare? Are we looking... The Raven's power of illusion comes from ravens. Allowing the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Drew. Look, look how much it's changed. It's all different. And so it is. 
to align the ravens, and then thus we will be able to see the truth. Interesting how they, he does use the ravens to manipulate different things around you. To break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Align them. Uh, let's try a different angle. Let's see here. Nope. Um. Align them. I think we're getting close. We're almost aligned. We need to back up a little further. I think it should be almost aligned there. No, probably not. Let's try a different angle. Is there a way to climb? Because I don't think I've got a good angle. I can hear them. Well, that must be him up there. Pesky ass, that, if I guess I so myself. Right, where's that seal at? Drawing a blank here. Maybe something about this will help. Oh wait, I didn't even see that. Holy shit. Alright, hold on. We're getting somewhere here. Well, it's good, my dude. There it is. <laughs> 